Yo, yo, what's up, YouTube? It's May, aka I'm Faded, and I'm back with Tutorial Tuesday number two. And I know I said that I will alternate the two, the two series that are, that will be on Tuesday with Topic Tuesday and Tutorial Tuesday, but I am having some problems with my capture card at the moment, so I decided I, you know, upload a tutor, uh, Tutorial Tuesday, which will be much more reasonable and try to upload a different video. But I will have a micro video coming out Thursday, and definitely it's in editing right now. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. And today's tutorial will be advanced flashing effects. And it, I mean, it should be pretty much self-explanatory. I'm just going to show you how to make the screen flash and make it go down, flash and go down, and also sync to the beat. And you know, guys, you got you. If anyone, you guys should know that I love the flow of the edit and I love the sync stuff. So I will be showing you how to do that. So let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is well, actually, I'm going to see what clip I have here. Alright, this is just a normal three-point shot. So, uh, let me take this out of best fool. Put it on preview auto. Alright. So now what you want to do is click on the video, hit the U key, and when you hit the U key, it'll separate the audio from the video so that you know it is isn't together when you delete it so now what you want to do is just delete the uh, the game audio and I'm just going to drag up my music in here go and delete this track All right. so now when you got your only your video and no audio on it now what you want to do is right click you want to hit properties you want to uncheck maintain aspect ratio as usual and hit disable resample and there we go. So uh, now what you want to do is, I'm just going to toy around with my audio. Alright. That should be cool. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to preview my video, so I'll be right back when that is done. Alright, so I have my video pre-rendered. If you do not know how to pre-render, all you have to do is highlight the portion of what you want to pre-render and hit shift and B and it'll start going like that and it'll erase all the lag when you play it back so that can be a really clean playback alright so like I said I want to use the the song that I used for the last week's tutorial just because it's a really easy song to sync with alright so now the hard parts are going to start coming in so now what you want to do is you want to play through your video and this is just a random video uh, like I said so you want to uh, play through your music to see where you want to actually sync the shots. And usually you sync where the upbeats happen, like douche. And so, for example, I'll do it right now. All right, I'm going to go on flash four times. So there we go. See, now I have markers where... I want the sync the uh, flashes to actually happen. If you don't know how to place markers, you press the you press the M key. So once again, you just want to play through your music and wherever you want the flash to happen, you want to hit the M key. So once again, I want to do it. Now. I haven't said this yet. You do not have to sync it, but it does. It's really better if you actually do sync it, though. All right. So now what you want to do is now that you have your markers, you want to click on every marker and split the video by pressing the S key. So click on the first marker, hit the S button, S button, S button, and once again, S button. So now you have your video split where you want the flash to actually happen. Now this is the part where you guys really have to pay attention because this can get confusing. So what you want to do is you want to go to video effects FX. You want to click the brightness and contrast button. Well effects. It's right here. And by the way, this does work on any Sony Vegas. So now what you want to do is go to where the first marker happened and drag. You see where it says brighter? into that video. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. 
Sorry guys, the computer's going slow, you know, because I'm recording. Should be about to come up. Alright, here we go. So now here's where you can just like play with the settings if you want to make it a little bit brighter, which I usually like to do. You can make it brighter. So, but I think these are the best settings. 3.306, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0.500. Alright, so now what you want to do, this is the part, like I said, where you really, really have to pay attention. Hit this button right here where it says animate. And this should come down right here. So now what you want to do is click this button where it says sync cursor to time media. Just click it and go to where you want the flash to actually stop so I want the flash to stop about right here and if you don't know what I'm doing just just go to where my mouse is you know, just follow my mouse and I'm gonna go right here is where I want the flash to stop and I'm gonna drag this back to zero not all the way down because it will make it darker just right to zero So all right, this should be perfect. So let's see what we got so far. All right, I pre-rendered my video and let's see what the first flash looks like. As you can see, it's a nice flash that comes up once again. All right, there we go. So now, if you don't know if you didn't get what I said the first time, I will do it for the rest rest of the markers, so try to follow along. So when you, you come over to the video effects, drag in brighter into where your marker is at. You want to bring this button up a little bit, the brightness button, to about 300, 306. Now what you want to do is click this button right here where it says animate, and you should get this down here. And when you get this, make sure this is clicked right here where it says sync cursor to ti media timeline and go to where you want the flash to stop so I want mine to flash uh, I mean well stop at about right here oh, what was that alright so I want mine to stop right here so now what you want to do is make the brightness zero again and you should have your flash so I'm going to do it for the rest of the markers and I'll be right back Alright guys, so I got everything pre-rendered and I have all my flashes. So let's see what the outcome looks like. Alright, let's see that one more time. Alright, so everything is synced up, all the flashes are perfect. Now, if you have any questions, any concerns, or if you're stuck on something, just leave it down in the comment section and I will reply in under two minutes. Yes, I said under two minutes. So, definitely, if you have any problems, just let me know and I will definitely help you out. So, thanks for watching, guys. And if you has, <laughs> if you have any suggestions on any tutorials, just let me know and I will bring them right to you. So once again, thanks for watching and I'm out, man.